everyone and welcome back to my weekly videos. So week by week we've been going over uh, faces and uh, learning about face shapes and how to draw certain features on the face. Uh, so today we're going to talk about noses. Okay, so if you could remember from before, when we have a face, um, usually it's split. Okay, so say that this was my face. Halfway down in the middle, that's where the eyes go. And if you cut that in half again, that's where the nose would go. So that would be like the bottom of the nose. And then you have the bridge of the nose that goes up and meets between your eyes. Okay. So that nose would go right in here and be that length. So there are a few tricks that I use for noses and I'm going to show you on the back here. Okay. I'm going to hold this up like so. Okay. So my favorite nose personally is like a wide shape that's a little bit more curved on the bottom if you can see that okay so it's like a, a wide V and you could leave it like that um, you could add in a line that goes up to accentuate the bridge of the nose which is this part right here uh, you could also kind of curve it just a little bit right there, like a little bit of a curve, and shade it on one side, like that. Um, you can add in the letter C on the sides. To give the nostrils, you could add in just like small little little dots in the bottom. Okay, so you can add in a whole bunch of stuff to really make that nose look more realistic. But basically, you just it's just breaking it into shapes, right? That's how I do art. I just break it all down into shapes. Okay, so. B, the letter C on that side, the letter C on that side, and it's a really wide B, right? It's not like that letter B. You see my nose already coming together. And then just like a little, little loop, you see my little loop shaded in little loop over here shade that in you got your nose you could add in just a little bit of a line going up you could leave it there you could have it curve like like there's a hook and you can shade half of the nose right so it's wider down here and it kind of goes up a point. You could also, with your noses, right, you could, um, you could go in and you could just do like the nostrils. You could do the nostrils and the C's. For a nose, you could just do the line going down and almost like a like a triangle, and shade that in for the nose. All right. So, and then I would have my eyes, <laughs> my wonky eyes. <laughs> Um, you could, 
for a nose, you could also, you could go in and do, like, the letter C, the backward C. You could do the C with, like, a smaller C on the side. Usually that's a nose if they're, like, to the side, like this, from the side of the face instead of, like, facing you. Right, so you see my, my V, my curves. Um, you could also do, you could do more of like a rounded nose, like the letter U, with the C's on the side for the nostrils. Alright, so if these were my eyes up here, you could have the line go up the middle, like that. You could have the line kind of start to angle over towards the eye. Um, let's see. You could also do a nose that's like that, that V shape with a shadow underneath it. So like another V and then shade that in with your pencil. And if I had my line. All right, so you could do just the bottom shaded. You could do all kinds of stuff. All right, but this, this trick is a really easy way to do noses. And I'm going to attach a video to a couple videos of different styles of noses, right? There's like anime noses. A lot of times they just do like the shadow. Um, or, you know, you have like, you might have the letter L. To the side. This one's angled, right? So this would be like a side view of the face with the nostril. Or you could do an L like that with the nostril. You can get really, really creative with noses. Because once you have that in there, you could just do the two dots for a nose. You could do two dots in a line for the nose. You could do two dots and a little bump in between them. Even like the most basic little things um, start to make it look like there's a nose drawn on it. Okay, so don't be too intimidated, too scared. So on mine, I'm going to go in. And let's see, this was my halfway point right here, about halfway down. So then I'm going to say that this would be my other halfway point right about here. And then I'm just going to do that halfway for my lips later. All right, so the bottom of my nose would come down to about there. And usually you want that to be centered between your eyes. I'm just going to make sure. There we go. Alright, you can just leave it like that, right? Nose. Bam. Look at that. Or you could add in the little loops for the nostrils. You could add in that line. You could add in the C's. And if you want, you could you could even shade half of it.
you see how each little thing that I do just kind of adds to the nose. You could even do, usually there's a shadow underneath. So if you wanted to like add in a little shadow underneath the nose, you could do a little shadow underneath. And I have my nose. Okay. So feel free to kind of play around with different nose shapes. And see what you like. Practice them. Figure out which one you want to put on your face. And if you'd like to check out the videos that have extra ideas for nose shapes, then just let me know. Oh, I got my little nose jewelry right over here so I'm gonna add that in. Bam! I'll be very anime Miss Jenny. Okay so I'm gonna stop this video. Feel free to check out those other ones with more ideas. Let me know how, if you have questions and then this one was really short, so I think that I'll probably include lips this week. Thank you.